Hello, I'm Gavin Townsend here today with Imogen Green from Stratford Upon Avon, a heptathlete, here today at the Alexander Stadium in Birmingham. Imogen, nice to see you. Nice to meet you. If you'd like to uh, introduce yourself to the crowd, that'd be great. Hi, I'm Imogen Green. I'm obviously, as he said, from Stratford Upon Avon, and I'm a heptathlete here at Birchfield. So, uh, Imogen, why did you get into uh, heptathlons? Uh, really, I was just a good all rounder, kind of enjoyed everything within athletics, and my coach just decided. Let's just play to our um, experiences and go for it. Just do everything and, we can. And what age did you start? Um, I started when I was eight years old. Okay, and, and you're 18 years of age now. Yeah. So obviously that's 10 years of athletics training. Definitely. Isn't it? And how long? Uh, so you've been doing athletics for 10 years, and what age did you identify that tough ones were particularly for you? Um, I think I must have been about 13, 14 when I really realised that. I was good at everything, not amazing at things, but wanted to carry on doing what I was doing, so heptathlon was the thing for me. Okay, and uh, you used to train at the, uh, the Stratford um, Athletics Club, and now you train here at the, uh, the Bir Birmingham Alexander Stadium, with the Birchford Harriers. Um, and why was that? Did you feel that you needed to progress on? Or? Um, I didn't feel like I was progressing as much as I wanted to, and it was a large group at Stratford, um, so I just decided to kind of make my like game and just go for Birchfield, a um, smaller group of training athletes um, really dedicated to what we do so and it's a uh, I've progressed really well since I've been here Excellent. so I'm really enjoying it. What, what's your coaching like? What's your coach like? Um, my coach is fantastic he knows how each of us work so if one of us is having a bad day he'll pull us aside talk to us about what's going wrong um, coaching five days a week training um, intense really Kind of pushing as much as I can in each training session, um, just trying to be the best I can be, really. Sure. And what's your coach, coach's background? Um, my coach was actually a decathlete when he was young. Um, then he kind of specialised in coaching the jumps more than heptathletes. But with a few of us coming to him who are heptathletes, he's kind of moved more towards the multi-eventing side of things, and he's really knowledgeable about what he does. I'm sure everyone's thinking, what is a heptathlon? Could you explain in a bit more detail? Um, basically, a heptathlon is over two days. Um, on the first day, which is obviously normally the Saturday, we have the hurdles to start, 110 metre hurdles, really fast, intense race, really good event to get the day going. Um, we then have the shot put, sorry, the high jump. Um, after the high jump, we then have the shot. Um, and then to finish off, we have the 200, really um, good race to kind of finish the day, finish on a high as much as possible. Um, and then we go into the Sunday where we have the long jump to start. Uh, long jump's a really technical event and if one thing's not working right you really need to kind of step back and look at what you're doing. We had uh, Chris Tomlinson do another video recently and uh, there's an actual demonstration on the channel of uh, Chris talking through the long jump and doing a demo as well so it's definitely technical. So what else is involved? Um, we then have the javelin, which again is a technical event, but it's not just about speed. It's another event that involves power and little movements to create one big um, final outcome. Um, and then obviously the final is the 800 metres. Right. The killer, but everybody's got to do it. Um, obviously two laps around the track, as fast as you can go. It's the end of the day, end of the weekend, and you just put all of it, all of you got into it, and just go for it. <laughs> Excellent. So Imogen, what are your titles here today? Um, my titles, um, as we speak, are the Midlands Indoor 2012 Champion um, right, Pentathlon. Right. And um, last year I was crowned the English School's Senior Girls Pentathlon Champion. Amazing. So uh, how does it feel to be a champion in your own uh, well, region? Um, and UK wide? Ex exactly. It's really what I've worked for. Um, Winning the English schools was just kind of the icing on the top of a really good season. My first season with my new coach, and just everything happened as it needed to happen. Um, again, winning the Midlands this year already just shows kind of how much the winter training is paying off already, and it's really going really well. And obviously, at 18 years of age, you've progressed quite well. So, what's your ultimate goal from from now? For um, my ultimate goal is always got to be an Olympic Games, um, but obviously my goal for that would be a GB vest. Um, but any athlete's dream, you can ask them any question and they'll be they want to go to the Olympics. Sure, sure. So you're going to aim for the uh, Rio 2016? Olympics. Yep, 2016 in Rio. Um, obviously it seems a long way away, but four sure. years in training isn't that long. No, no. And uh, let, let's, let's hope that uh, Imogen can get there. 
Um, so could you elaborate a bit more on your training and your exercise? Um, yeah, my, basically my training consists of uh, technical training mainly now. Um, so each day I'll kind of progress, um, choose a, what event I'm going to do. So long jump one day, high jump the next, hurdles maybe the next. And in that training session I'll do a few run-throughs of what I'm supposed to be doing with my coach. Um, basic warm-up, getting everything going and then we'll just kind of go into the technical side working on little bits. My coach will video me and it really helps with the video analysis mm -hmm. as well um, and then most likely afterwards the training session we'll do like a core session or a flexibility session because everything helps really. Um, so I train obviously five days a week. How many hours a week? Um, well, my training sessions are normally two to three hours. Oh, okay. um, on a Sunday, we have a nice, nice long three-hour training session. Um, but as well as the training sessions down at the track, I also get the sessions in at the gym. So I'm doing some Olympic lifting now, and uh, also a lot of more core stability, really. So it's all mixed together to make one big final package. Wow! So uh, you're almost working a full-time job, but in, just in training. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so, um, so what support do you get as an athlete? Um, support as an athlete really is from the club and also from your coach. Um, but my main back, my main backbone is my parents, my support from my family. And, and do you find that uh, really helps? Um, yeah, my mum will come to anything, Great. anything going, school event, college event, or club event, and she'll be there all the time, all the way, cheering she'll my name. pom poms in the back. Exactly. <laughs> she's one of those mums that will shout and not care who cares about what she's saying. Uh, if your mum's watching this, that's not an idea to start wearing. <laughs> <laughs> no, please bright, don't wear pom poms. Bright, bright, bright coloured vests and wearing uh, pom poms in here. Um, going back to your nutrition uh, and exercise, what's your diet like? What's your nutrition like? Um, my diet's really balanced. Um, again, my mum helps me with that. We just have one main meal a day, but then I'm also trying to keep in my snacks throughout the day to keep my energy levels up, um, keep my metabolism going, and obviously um, also throughout the training sessions I'll keep on the drinking and keep the carbohydrates going in. Because it's really all about getting the right balance right and also sure. muscle recovery afterwards as well. Yeah, and then keeping that muscle retention Definitely. but also keeping that fat weight down when yeah. possible as well. Okay, and um, have you got anything else uh, you'd like to add to the interview today? Um, not really, just kind of really encouraging people to get into athletics would be a fantastic thing to happen throughout everything. Okay, so what advice would you give somebody who wants to get into heptathlons? Um, heptathlons, if you want to get into heptathlons, I'd really say go down to your local club if you're not already a member and just get running, start running, start throwing, start jumping, let them know that you just want to be involved. Um, again, if you want to get specifically into the heptathlons, expect to have no life at all because obviously training is 24-7 um, but it's really uh, it's, 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 it's definitely a personal reward to get um, competing in those seven events over the two days. And, so Imogen, have you got any uh, heroes in your sport? Um, my first ever hero within athletics was Goldie Sayers, um, a javelin thrower, and she just really inspired me to get into the sport. And then obviously now, with the world title she holds and the European titles within my sport that I do, her tough on Jessica Ennis, um, she's just... Uh, she's flying. Definitely right? flying, and she's just on top of the world, as she'd love to say. And have you ever met her? Yeah, I've met her. Um, I had a photo shoot done with her oh, for... Right, right. Uh, UK um, A Games thing and also um, I compete with her um, okay. uh, with the level that I'm competing at now um, some of the competitions that we do uh, she's really involved and she gets there and she's she's such a lovely lady she just gets on, on with you and talks to you no matter who you are so it's really good that's amazing and um, if, if somebody wanted to get into your particular sport in athletics what advice would you give them? Um, I'd give them the advice to go down and just try out get running around the track um, let them know that you want to do athletics as a passion or as a, just a hobby. Um, let them know that you want to have a go at anything and see what you're good at, really. And just getting involved in the heptathlon is just so rewarding for you because you've got that seven attempts to get the PBs. PBs. And it's just such a fantastic experience, really. So thank you very much, Imogen. Uh, Imogen Green, everybody. Uh, if you want to find more about Imogen Green, please search her online. Thank you very much.